Welcome back to day two of our spelling and word work. Congratulations on yesterday. I was so impressed how hard you guys worked, how much time you spent on it, and how much care you put into it. So high five. And now, let's get to some word profiles. All right. So the first thing you are going to do today is you're going to pick five or six words that you're going to use. So five or six. And I'm going to start with the word operate to show you what to do for the word profile. So once you have your word, each word is going to get a little profile similar to when we did the state profiles. So here are a few of the things you might talk about. Syllables. How many syllables are in the word? Like syllable. There are three syllables. Number of vowels and number of letters. So you will count each of those. Silent vowels. Are there any vowels that you see but you do not hear? Words within the word. I will look at this more later. And your personal rule for spelling the word. You're going to come up with your way to remember it. What's tricky about it? Or if nothing's tricky to you, how would you explain it to someone else so that they can always spell it? Okay, so if we look at operate, the first thing I like to do is syllables. Operate. Three syllables. So I just write that below. Three syllables. Okay. How many vowels are there? Well, I see an O, an E, an A, and an E. So one, two, three, four, four vowels. Are there any silent vowels? Well, I would say the E is silent here. Now, we know that the E does a job, however. We know that the E is actually making the A long, but we can't actually hear it. And you might think that the E here is silent, and that's up to interpretation. But I prefer to think of it as making the R and ER sound. So you could think of that as a silent E, but I don't really. Um, okay, overall there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. All right, I need to go to a new page. I'm going to continue with operate. And my favorite part is doing words within the word. So what do I see? Well, right off the bat, I see opera. I like that. Opera is in the word. And then I see rate. Within that, I see eight. Hmm. I could turn some letters around and I could make rope. What else could I do? I could do, um, we have rate, we have eight, we have rope. You could do poor. Now this isn't like poor, you don't have money. It's poor on skin. And you get the idea. You're just going through and you're seeing what words can you find in here with the letters that are there. Of course, you could get silly. You could find the word P. Roops, I know that's going to cause a uproar. But you see what I'm doing. I'm looking for the different words that these letters create. And I think you should push yourself. And the reason you do this is that the more you look within a word, the more you understand the word and you see how it goes together. And finally, you can make a rule for your word. So the way I will remember operate is that I'm going to spell it by syllable. op er rate So I start with op. It looks like it sounds op. Then my second rule is the er sound is actually er. So op, er. And then it, my third rule is that it ends with eight. Operate. 
And if I just kind of internalize those three rules, that I'm going bisyllable, the er sound is er, and it ends with eight, I'll always be able to spell it. Back in high school, I did this with the word lieutenant, and it had always helped me. So great job. I'm sure you're going to destroy these word profiles. I can't wait to see them. I bet you're going to do a better job than I did. You're so creative and thoughtful, I can't wait to read them. So I would say that was a swish. Now, while I have you here, I want to discuss one more thing. In your spelling or word work notebook, I would like you to set up a little section this week that's called your personal word list. And what I would like you to do is whenever you are writing and you need to look up a word, I would like you to add that word to this list. Or if you're reading and there's a word that's challenging or just a word you like that you would like to use in your writing, I want you to add it to this list. Because in future weeks, you're not going to get 20 words from me. You might get 18 or 16 or 15 or 14 and the rest are going to be your personal words, but you're going to need a collection of these so that you're not searching around for random words. You have words that mean something to you. So when I was writing today, I wrote an email and I wrote the word receive and it was wrong. So that will go in to my personal word list. Another word I can never spell right is especially. So that's in my word list. All right, dudes. Have fun with DIP. I hope you enjoy the other activities, and I can't wait to read your word profiles. Adios.